Right, so another past paper, May, June 2016. We're going to focus on the easy question, always. Always look for the easy question. In the timetable, which is the easy question? You like journals, but uh -huh. we're doing bank recon, so we're going to stick with bank recon. We're going to do another bank recon. Question three. That's the focus. Okay, so when doing question three, I need to record everything in the bank reconciliation. Did they give you an answer sheet? Yes. Yes, they did. Okay, so don't need to draw it up again. But right, actually, I'm going to take what we just did, because at least it saves time. Um, let's just take all of that and record that here. And then um, we can just update all of this. Okay. All right, so um, internal, oh, this should have said external, hey? Okay, external records. Okay, internal and external records. The bank recon, the date's going to change. Um, everything else is going to be the same. Okay, but you've got the answer sheet in that your question. Yes. Agreed? Yes. All right, so now we're going to be looking at what the question has told us in terms of what's in our books and what's in the bank's books. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, get rid of all the highlights. Okay, save that. Let's look at it. Okay, we can close this now. Ooh, May, June. Come open it. All right, so that's what you've got currently um, in May, June 2016. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. We're going to look at the question now, and now we need to take those amounts through to the answer sheets. Okay, there's question three. Yes. Right, so the following information for April relates to DG. Okay, the first line item. Total in the cash receipts, total in the cash payments, where do we put these? Cash receipts journal and a cash payments journal. Good. So, total. Um, they're not asking for it. Total. They're not asking for it. Oh, I don't have an answer sheet for it. Um, ah, okay. uh, there it is. Okay. Got it. Yes. Good. Put it in. Total, total. Um, what is the receipts? Can you tell me? Yes. Um, one and eight. eight. Payments? Six, four, seven hundred. Six, four, seven hundred. Yes. Happy. Yes. Next. The bank account in the general ledger of DG stores has a favorable balance of 500,000. It has a favorable balance of. Okay, you've got two balances there, hey? Eh? Yes. Okay, so let's look at the first one. Where are we going to put the 500,000? The general ledger. Good. Debit or credits? A uh, credit. Is it a debit or a credit? It's a debit, sorry. It's a positive balance. It's debit. Favorable. Okay, yeah. So, debit or credits? Debit. Good. What month? April or May, what is it? April. April. 1st of April, balance brought down. How much? 500. Got that? Yes. Happy with it? Yes. Okay, where does the other balance go? The second one you read. Bank Think about it. So, bank reconciliation statement. Good. Can I change that bank balance? No. No, I need to start with it. Balance as per the bank statement. How much? 553850. Good or bad? Good. Debit or credit? Debit. Really? Wait, balance as. Hang on, I'm losing it. Okay, think about it. Bank statement. Bank statement, debit or credit? Secreted. Why? Because it's bank statements. Good. Office. Okay, remember it's your bank statement. So what do you want to see in your bank statement? A credit. A credit. Yes. There you go. Well done. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so what are we going to put? 553 five, here. 553 five, three there. How much? 850. That's it. Okay, that's all. Just think about it in terms of your bank statement. If this was your bank statement, what would you want to see? Okay. Debit or credit? Credit. Good. What else? Keep going. The following transactions appeared in the bank statement only. So then we need to reconcile. Oh no. We need to adjust. Why? Because it's in the bank statement and not in our books. Perfect. There you go. See, you do have the understanding. You're fine. Okay. Okay, you're okay. Yes. Good. Next. A, what does A say? A check originally received from Mr. N. Ina, mm -hmm. a customer of DG Stores, for 1,000 Rand was dishonored due to insufficient funds in his bank account. Just to reconcile? So we need, it's a just and we need to do it in the payments journal. Perfect. Okay, so cash payments, check ID. How much? 1,000. 1,000? Yes. Next. Bank charges of 100 rand. So bank charges? Payment. Good. Why? Because we're paying it. Yes. How much? 100 rand. Good. Okay, C's interest received in a f on a favorable balance during mm -hmm. 15. So it's receipts journal. Mm -hmm. Interest income. Do you agree? Yes. Great. Uh, we need to put the dates in here, hey? So 31st, uh, was it 31st? Of, yeah. How many days does April have? January, February, March, April. 30. Yes. Did you do the same thing? Yes. <laughs> okay. Alright. 30th of April. Okay. 30th of April. Delete, there we go. Okay, now we've got the dates. Alright, so interest income is how much? 150? Yes. Good, there you go. Okay, next one a debit order to ABC Insurance mm -hmm. in payment of insurance premium of mm -hmm. 6,500. It's payments journal and it's insurance. Perfect. How much? 6,500. Nice. Next. Number four. A comparison of the bank statement for DG stores for April 2015 and the cash journals showed that the following entries did not appear in the bank statement. Mm -hmm. So now we need to reconcile. Where does it go? Bye-bye. Bye. Did you switch on the alarm? I'm going to turn on for upstairs. Okay, cool. You're not going upstairs again, huh? No. Okay. Right. Thank you. Sorry about that. It's okay. Um, you okay, saying? so we need to reconcile, so it's going to go into the bank reconciliation statement. Yes, and, and what are they? It's outstanding checks. Good. Outstanding checks. Um, numbers 221. Two, 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 what else? Number 221. Number, what's the next one? 230. 230, and the next one? 234. Number 234. Yes. Okay, perfect. What are the amounts? First one? Okay, first one is 16,000. Next? Um, 3,000. Perfect. 5, nice, there you go. Excellent. Complete. B. Sorry, a question. What's wrong? Yeah. Um, why does it go into the debit again? Because it's an outstanding payment. So these payments haven't come off your account yet. When they do come off your account, are you going to see it on the debit side or the credit side? On the credit side. On the debit side because it's coming off your account. It's your bank statement. Remember, all of this is in the bank statement. Oh, okay, okay, now we'll do it again. Okay. okay Next. Okay, an entry made on 29 April 2015 in the cash receipts journal for 4000 which was received from a customer. So, um, bank reconciliation statement. Mm -hmm. So, so it's a payment sale. So,
What does that say? Cash journal show. Does not appear in the bank statement. So? So we need to reconcile. Yes. So that's what I said. Yeah, but you were saying this was a payment. What are these payments? Oh, okay, yeah. What are they? Um, it's cash, it's a payment, that, it's payment to us. Yes, which is a? Receipt. So? so? It needs to be on a reconciliation statement. Good, as? You and got so it. credit. Because? Because we're receiving it. There you go. Got it. Okay, so what is it called? What's the heading? Outstanding what? Deposits. Okay, so these deposits are outstanding because do you think the bank's going to clear this on the last day of the month? No. Probably not. Okay, who is the first one for? Uh, 4,000. Okay. Another one was for? 2,000. Okay, 4 and 2. Right, have you completed the question? Yes. What do we do now? Tally up. Okay, so how do I tally up? Add everything here. So if I sum up those two, I get that. If I sum up those amounts, I get that. There's the total for the receipts. There's the total for the payments. Where do the receipts go? Where do the receipts go? Bank recon. Uh -huh. Receipts. Remember, internal records here, external records there. Internal records are internal records. Okay. So where does that go? In the GL account. Increase or decrease? Increase. Increase. Total receipts will increase the bank. Do you agree? Yes. CRJ equals that. Okay, and this is going to re uh, reduce the bank total payments. CPJ. Okay, equals that, and there's your bank general ledger. Okay, now how do we balance that account off? What do we do? We check which side's bigger. Do you agree? Yes. Which side's bigger? The Are you on the debit, debit side. side. Okay, so sum up all of that gives me that answer. That's the answer that I want on both sides. Do you agree? Yes. How do I get the balance? Give me the next step. It's minus the 7,000. What minus? This, right? Yeah. Minus that. Yes. Gives us what? The balance. Yes. That we're going to carry down. Do you agree? Yes. Okay, so balance here. Carry down. And next month is May. Oh, um, 1 slash 5. Balance brought down. Do you agree? Yes. And there's your internal records. So now our internal records need to balance with our external external records. How do I balance that? The total of the credit Which side. Which side? Yes. Total. Okay, the total of the credit side here because that side's bigger. Do you agree? Yes. Sum up all of that gives me that answer. Want the same answer on both sides? Balance is. This minus that minus that minus that gives me hopefully the same answer, is it? Yeah. Yay. Hey? Awesome. Balance as per the bank general ledger account. Okay, so hopefully if that happens in the exam, what is that question out of? 21. You just got 21%. Yes. yes. Hey? Okay, so that's why bank recon is really easy because you know if you've got it right or not. Yes. Okay, how much time should you have spent on that question? 30, uh, 
minutes. How much time did we spend? 15. Bonus, eh? Okay.